The only place one can appeal a Supreme Court decision is in the court of heaven through prior. Amen. When a lawsuit goes to trial, there is always an attorney of record who is personally in charge. The attorney of record or lead attorney is ultimately responsible for this tragedy or how the case will be presented and is blamed or rewarded depending on the outcome of the trial. Amen. No matter how many paralegals, associate attorneys work on the case, it is the attorney of record whose license and reputation that are on the line. He or she is in the one is the one who will ultimately win or lose the case. Jesus Christ knows the way. He is every day of our life our lead attorney and we are his associates Hallelujah. he set this tragedy for each of us to gain victory Hallelujah. in christian living Amen. when we intercede in prayer for something or someone we petition heaven's court Amen. depending on the case we may function as a prosecutor against the forces of darkness or we may serve on a defense team pleading mercy for the defendant. In every case, Jesus is our lead attorney. He is the attorney of records. Now we're going to look in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 26 which says, Likewise the Spirit also help us our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings, which cannot be uttered. The Holy Spirit establish our prior assignments. Jesus is ultimately responsible for the success of your priors, is responsible for whatever situation that you're going through, is responsible for your healing, he's responsible for your breakthrough, he is responsible to mend everything, every broken things in your life, Jesus is responsible because he is the one that will mend it and put it back together. Now we're going to look in Hebrews chapter 7. Verse 24 to 25, which says, But this man, because he continued ever, has an unchangeable priesthood. So Jesus Christ's priesthood will never change. His position will never change. He's sitting at the right hand of God, making intercession for you and I. Wherefore, he's able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him. See he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Let's look at this very carefully. Jesus is the only one that we need to go through to get through to the Godhead. Amen. 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 There's no other name but the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible clearly states, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every financial situation that you're going through this afternoon, confess to Jesus, tell it to him, and Jesus will create that intercession to the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit will turn around every famine and every drought situation that you are going through this moment. Now faith is a substance and the evidence of things not seen. This moment is your release. This moment is your breakthrough. This moment is your victory. This moment is your healing. This moment Jesus is standing, waiting on your prayers to make intercession and to mend every broken relationship that you have in your family. Yes. He's here. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus is here. Amen. 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 So Jesus alone is to receive the glory for the outcome. As declared in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31. Whether therefore ye eat or drink, 
but whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Amen. So we give glory for all the victories that we have won through prayer. We give glory and all honor to Jesus Christ of Nazareth because of him it makes us possible today that when we go before the Heavenly Father our sins are washed away. The grace of Jesus has created the room and the atmosphere that when you come before the throne room of God, God will wash away all your sins. He will remove everything that has been coming against your blessings. He will break every chain because he has the power. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is powerful. He is infinite. There is no other one like Jesus. So our power of attorney is Jesus. Because Jesus said in John 14, verse 13 to 15, And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. And verse 14 says, If he shall ask anything in my name, not in the name of A. Selassie, but in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 15 says, If he love me, keep my commandments, and God will change every circumstances that have been coming against your life. The chain is broken because of the power of the Most High God. You're released from all condemnation because of the grace of Jesus Christ. And in this verse, we see that every believer has been given power Amen. of attorney. Yes. What is power of attorney? Power of attorney is simply the legal right to act on someone else's behalf. Amen. Yes. In our case, we have been granted permission to act in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. The Encyclopedia Britannia described power of attorney as a written authority, empowering the person named therein to do some act or acts on behalf of the principal, which otherwise could only be done by the principal himself. A power of attorney expires with the death of the principal. But our principal, who is Jesus Christ, is not dead. He is alive. I have good news, good news. Jesus is alive and well. And your breakthrough and your miracle is now. Therefore, our power of attorney remains intact forever. Jesus, before he ascended into heaven, gave his bride, the church, the power of attorney to act on his behalf. Just the Holy Spirit. Amen? And we're going to reconfirm this. The Bible says in John 14, verse 13 and 14, and whatsoever shall ask in my name, that will I do, right? That the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if he shall ask anything, now that is a big statement. If he shall ask anything in my name, in the name of Jesus, I will do it. So God has given you the key to prosperity. God has given you the key to breakthrough. God has given you the key to whatever problems that you have been going through because the key which he has given unto you is Jesus Christ. Come on now, Yes, Lord. When Jesus died on the cross, his power of attorney remains in the form of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you're my comforter, my teacher on me. He's here. His name carries the most weight because of the great sacrifice he made. The power of his name outweighs those things that may hinder us. As long as you speak his name before any desire, it is done. 
Now we're going to look at the Acts of the Apostle, Apostle Peter and John. And we're going to look at how powerful the name of Jesus is. Please turn your Bibles to Acts chapter 3 verses 1 to 10. In the scripture, Peter speaks to the beggar that had asked for a prayer at the temple where Peter and John was going into. As it were, Peter recognized that all he could do was speak the name of Jesus. And every burden that was up on the man since birth would be destroyed because of that name. Verse 1 it says, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple of the hour of prior, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb, whom they had laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask alms of them that enter into the temple. Who seen Peter and John about to go to the temple ask and ask. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John said look on us. And the man gave heed unto them expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said silver and gold have I none but such as I have I give unto thee in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. I've seen the hand of Christ stretch forth to you this afternoon to pull you up out of the spirit of depression, to pull you up out of the spirit of infirmity, to pull you up out of the spirit of financial dilemma. God hands is stretched towards you to elevate you on the job. His hands is stretched towards you to elevate you in the presence of your enemies. You are the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. You are a king's kid because of Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus Christ, all things are possible. Because of Jesus Christ, your DNA is changed. The generational curse is broken because of the Lamb of God, which is our attorney, Jesus Christ. And the man leaped up because in the name of Jesus, all things are possible. So the man leaped up in verse 8, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Amen. And when all the people saw him walking and praising God, they knew that it was he. Let me tell you this this afternoon. You'll be praising God for the rest of this year in victory. Those who thought that you never amount to nothing shall be disappointed because the lead attorney, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, has put in your request and your request is granted. The fame of God is granted. The purpose of God upon your life is granted. The favor, the breakthrough, the promotion is granted. In the name of Jesus, you have the victory. In the name of Jesus, you have the power. In the name of Jesus, all doors is open on your behalf. So they were amazed. People will always be amazed when they try to come against you. They always be amazed when they speak negative things against you and what you're doing for the Lord and they're wondering why is it that you're prospering? Why is it that you're so happy? And the simple thing you can say to them, it is because of Jesus. When God sent his son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to die on Calvary's cross, he is the prescription which the head doctor, which the Lord God of hosts, wrote to humanity and released it so that every chain and every shackles is broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Jesus is that prescription. So our trust lies in Jesus. Because the Bible says it clearly. With God, all things are possible. There's nothing that is impossible with God. Amen? Amen. And Jesus reassures us that he's always in the midst and working on our behalf, being our power of attorney. Let's look at this in Matthew chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19 to 20. And it says, Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Amen. And in verse 20 it says, where two or three is gathered in my name, there am I with them. Amen. The same authority that Jesus has he has fused it into your DNA. His power of attorney status gives us the ability to claim territory. It gives us a ability to claim the power that is from the Holy Spirit to do all things in the name of Jesus. It gives us the status of financial grace that the power that the wealth of the wicked is released into the hands of the righteous. Amen. This afternoon God is saying that is there anything too hard for me to do? Hallelujah. Jesus is here. He has been making intercession on your behalf. Amen. Use his name. Believe in his name. Knowing that with Jesus all things are possible. With Jesus, the doors that were closed will immediately be open. With Jesus, those who look down on you will one day have to look up to you. We saw that with Joseph, right? His brothers sold him out in slavery. They thought he was done for. But Joseph believed in God. He knew that there's a God that is able to create and to take him from the bottom of the pit to the top. Amen. And Joseph didn't went to any university, but Joseph had a relationship with God. Amen. And once you have a relationship with God, God will turn around every situation that looks dismal in your life and God will create the atmosphere for success, for achievement, for a higher level, huh? and for your increase in the eyes of those who have put you down. Because in Luke chapter 10 verse 19, the Bible says, Behold, I give unto you power. Power. You have had power. It is yours to strut upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. Right before Jesus ascended into heaven, Jesus solidified how he would remain as our power of attorney even after death. Let's look at Mark 16 verses 17 to 18. Which says, and it's so powerful, this is so profound. It says, and these signs, yes. not signs of oppression, Come on now. Amen. not signs of sickness and disease, yes. not signs of suicide, yes. not signs of hopelessness, Amen. but these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Yes. That's in the name of Jesus. Yes. And what they shall do? They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. 
Now remember, wisdom is the first gift of the Holy Spirit. That does not say that if you know that someone has poured poison into something, you must go right there and sit at the table and partake of it. Because the first gift of the Holy Spirit in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, from 8 to 10, it speaks about the gift of wisdom. That's the first gift of the, the Holy Spirit. Now remember, as Paul of attorney, one has full authority, full authority to manage all affairs and act on your behalf. And this is what Jesus has been doing. Amen. That means as long as they place POA after their name, they have now established that they represent you. And this is why we pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, demons are rendered powerless. Healing comes. Salvation comes. Everything we do and say is done in his name. We are baptized in his name. We are justified in his name. And that is why we must come speaking boldly and with confidence, believing that whatsoever we have asked in prayer, it shall be done. Because Jesus is the power of our attorney. With the attorney, Jesus, there's no defeat. The Bible says I can do all things. I said that early, through Christ, that strengthens me. God gave Jesus authority over all things, even above all the angels. Philippians 2, verse 9 and 10 says, Wherefore God has highly exalted him. Who is him? Jesus. And given him a name which is above every other name. Jesus' name is greater than the name of Buddha. It is greater than the Rastafarian's name which is Hezlassi. And verse 10 says, And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess of things in heaven and things in earth under the earth. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I want this to sink in this afternoon. Your, uh, your power of attorney, which is Jesus Christ, never goes to sleep. Amen. Jesus will never take a lunch break. Amen. Amen. Jesus will never say, I'm going to stop and hang out with the angels at the bowling alley. If there's any bowling alley in heaven. I know there's one. Jesus will never take any of your prayers and say, you know what? This is not important to me. I'm going to address other things that is far more important. All of us is important to Christ Jesus. And that is why God sent his only son to die and kill for his cross. With the name of Jesus, promotion comes. Amen. With the name of Jesus, healing is assured. Amen. With the name of Jesus, the financial struggle that you have been going through is broken. Amen. With the name of Jesus, any generational curse of cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure is broken. Amen. Because every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. That Jesus is Lord. Jesus is dominant over Lucifer and his demons. Jesus is able to break every chain and give you the victory again and again. Jesus is able to transform and to turn around the things that look like a dead situation and rise up your finances, rise up your joy, rise up your prosperity, rise you up in the midst of your enemy. Jesus is there in the midst of every storm. Jesus is with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And that is why the name of Jesus is so precious to humanity. That is why humanity must praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. 
There's no power on earth that can destroy you Amen. because you call on the name of Jesus. Amen. When Jesus ascended to be by the Father, the Holy Spirit stepped in. He's the comforter. He's the teacher. The Holy Spirit ensures your miracle. The Holy Spirit ensures your victory. The Holy Spirit is so powerful. He's able to create things where things were not. The Holy Spirit is able to give someone a promotion on a job who has no degree or no high school diploma. Huh? All things are possible in God. The Holy Spirit is able to do a transformation and a financial supernatural transfer of other resources from another source that no one knows from into your bank account. Because of the Holy Spirit, we don't need Xanax. Because the Holy Spirit brings peace brings joy. We don't need no ambience to sleep at night because when we shout on the name of Jesus, it brings reassurance. We don't need to worry about anything because our lead attorney, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, has all the answers. Is there anyone this afternoon you have been broken, you have been depressed, you have been going through so much anxiety and pressure. Today, I want to tell you, leave every burden at the feet of Jesus. Amen. He's the burden carrier. He's the one that will transform and create new things for you. God is able to create new limbs. God is able to put back sockets into eyes where there was no, no eye. God is able to create a new lung. If you need a new kidney, in the name of Jesus, it will be created. Our faith and our trust must be in the lead attorney, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We put so much trust in our legislators. We put so much trust also in the very vehicle that we drive. We have such confidence that when we put the key in the ignition and we turn that ignition that it will start and take you to your destination. But Jesus is far greater than all these things. And we need to solidify our faith and confidence in him. Only Jesus can change that son or that daughter who's been on drugs. Only Jesus is able to do about a 90 degree transformation and turn around in your marriage and in your family life. Only Jesus is able to do a mighty work and transform you and take you out of poverty into promotion. Because the Bible says, and my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory through who? Through Christ Jesus. All things are possible through Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. I think he deserves a better round.